Elena Galindez, nice morning, to meet you. Matt. Yes. So first off, you know, how's the event going for you? I know that there's a lot of a lot of buzz in the room. Yeah. What what has it meant for you to be able to be here and be able to rub shoulders with prospects, partners? Yeah. So it's actually, these kind of events are very valuable for our industry. It's an opportunity to network, not only within uh, operators, but also within companies, service companies, and you learn a lot. You know, it's, it's also good for us in sales to do intelligence about what is going on in the industry. We learn a lot. And also specifically on the operator side, like they come here and it's an opportunity to us, uh, for us to show them the new technologies that we get to bring them to support their operations. Especially for us, we work in the completion area. What we do is basically uh, automate completion operations. It doesn't matter who is, what pressure control equipment they are using, it doesn't matter who's fracking, it doesn't matter who has the wireline. What we do is that we integrate all three services and we make sure that there is no mistakes made on the field, the data is aggregated with a context and is transmitted on real time and at the same time we help them to improve their efficiency, so with the automation specifically there, yeah. Very nice. and. You know, with what IWS does and, and, and with this solution, what do you feel like for 2025, some of the challenges that some of wow. the people that are in our audience might be experiencing that they should say, you know what, this is worthy of a phone call, maybe we should be looking into this. Yeah. What are those challenges? What are the problems on the street? So, uh, completion, it's actually, it was now, like everybody said, completion was 20 years behind, frag, uh, behind drilling. So, these last couple of years you have seen from the typical completion operation to a lot of technology companies getting into the completion environment and that I think is the challenge, right? Like the constant technology improvement that not only us as a company but everybody else is doing. Uh, the industry is, and is kind of young in that technology portion of it so there is a lot of new ideas. We are all trying to figure what is best. And and that's it, right? For, for us in service companies, that's one of the challenges. Like, where to put your money on the actual value that we can bring to, to the operators, which is the end goal for everybody, yeah. So something interesting is, you know, I'm in the world of energy risk, and I know there's a lot of safety protocols that you guys bring to the table. If I remember right, you know, IWS has, when it comes to these um, skids and whatnot, there are safety measures that companies can have to have a, 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 a lower risk. But basically, one of the things we do is that we, we remove the risk of wrongly actuating a valve. In completion operations, they have pressures, they, the higher pressures that are handled basically can kill anyone, right? Yeah. The, so the risk is very high when you have like many, many pipes with um, what we're talking about from 5,000 to 10,000 PSI going over there. And even if you're outside of the red zone, if the mistake is done, people can be affected. Like we're talking about people unfortunately dead just because. Yeah. So what we do is like we remove the risk of wrongly actuating a valve and with that we bring immediately safety to the operation. So you can trust that it doesn't matter who's operating, it doesn't matter what companies are involved, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter how good they deal between them. Like it doesn't matter that because we facilitate through a handshake the communication between every service company so everybody can say yes I'm ready to proceed to the next step and we enable those ex steps to be done with an accurate uh, process, right? Yeah. With the algorithm that we make sure, the SOPs we follow, we make sure that the companies in the field or whoever is in the field follows the standard operation procedure. And with that, obviously, we make sure that safety and efficiencies are achieved in the field, yeah. Very nice, okay. And then before we go, just to close it out, if, if, sure. if somebody was interested in going through this process, what does that look like for someone who's going, you know what, I haven't talked to IWS yet, but I'm just curious, what is the, what is the cadence, how long does it take to go through the process? So, um, funny enough, like that depends a lot on the willingness of supporting new technologies. Like, what we have experienced is that obviously automation is like when you go from the typical old phone to the smartphone, right? Like, at the beginning, is the change is a little bit difficult for some people, but once you get this, that smartphone and once you get to use it, you fly, right? So it's the same way with this. Like once you start using the automation technology, once you understand that we don't want to move you out of the field, but instead we want to protect you whenever you are in the field, 
you start like you know working fast, working better, trusting in the system, trusting in the operation, and in that way, you that's how you achieve success in the field. And yeah, I love that. Well, thank you, Lorena. Thank you very, very much. Very nice Lauren. to meet you. Very nice to meet you.